<laughs> oh my, what you, yo, you good, man? Okay, you trying to be a VTuber? Don't even worry, I got you, okay, your boy Buru Vinci? He's got you. Yo, okay, yo, first things first, though, check out the, check out the little room. I know it's looking a little bland, but tell, I'm, uh, it's gonna look good soon, trust me. Okay, wasting no time, though, okay, let's get right into it. Right into that. Oh my god. You, you, you need to calm down a little bit. Okay, now that we're on our desktop, uh, oh, oh, oh just, just gonna, just gonna change tabs real quick. You should go follow that. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do, go to your Steam, and then you're gonna wanna type in V Roid, okay? V Roid, and then you'll see V Roid Studios. Click that boy, okay? Click on that. And then all you're gonna wanna do is download that boy. Once it's downloaded, you know, you're gonna wanna open it up, okay? Stay with me now, stay with me now. We already got two models chilling here. One for my boy Chop, you know. You go check him out. And we got mine. So you know we're gonna we're gonna click on mine for now. For now. Just to just to get a template. And honestly, from here, from here, it's pretty it's pretty damn simple. If you've made any character in any like RPG game, it's pretty much the exact same. You just you just You just do the thing, you know, make a character. If you've played any game with game creation, any RPG or anything like that, you you know what to do here. You just you make the character. But if you wanna get really crazy with it. And say, you know, when you want to change the hair up a little bit, you have all of these options to choose from. You got the, the front hair, you got the back hair, overall hair, extensions, side, a, a, a hoogie, a hoggy, a hawawawi, whatever that says. You got extras, you got base hair, and all of these you can customize. If you go to custom, you can create new, you can import, or if you want to get crazy with it, select the hair that you want, and then go to edit texture. And then, if you go to the strains of hair that you want to change, maybe, maybe you want to give some curls to those strains. So if there's a certain strain of hair you want to edit, you click on it, and then it'll bring up this, like, kind of mapping thing. And each map has, like, if you click on these, these, these are the maps. If you click on these, you can see which which strands are in each, each, uh, each, each, uh, each, uh, uh, um, 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 category. Holy freaking hell, man. Man's got to speak English for once. Man, speaking jib! But yeah, you can you can uh, you can curl the hair, you know, give it some give it some curls. You can pull down on it, make it longer. You know, you can do you can do you can do a lot with this. You can really do a lot with this. So once you're done giving your guy a nice little hairstyle, a hairstyle that will, you know, woo the ladies. Maybe 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 you want some cool face tats. Maybe you want some 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 sick new uh some some sick like uh you, you see all this shit? Cool, right? You want that? I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Like all of this, the scar thing, the little like uh, the, the 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 lines on the nose, the Zen rose, the beard, the little happy face up there, the dude, the, the the three dots, all that shit, it's all custom, okay? It's all custom. So what you're gonna want to do for that is go to face paint. And you're gonna want to do the same thing. You can you can either create new, import, or go to edit texture, and then we'll bring up this kind of menu. What I did, what I did is I, I, I went over here, I imported this, or no, no, rather, rather, I exported this. It doesn't, it, do, it doesn't matter where you export it, just export it anywhere, anywhere that you can find it, you know. And then what I use, I use, I use Google Draw for all my, from all my art. It's a little weird to do art on, but you know what, it, it works, it works, bro, it works. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your file, the layer you just copied, pop it into a, a, a little, a little Google Draw thing. And I recommend zooming out at least like at least three times, just to give it some more uh, resolution. Because if you if you make it on that small of a canvas, the resolution is going to be kind of kind of bunky. You don't want that. So just create this, make it make it a little bigger, and then fit the dimensions all nice like you know what I'm saying. Get it all crisp, crisp and protein, per 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 protein. And a good thing to do before you do export this is like take like uh, I'd say like a black, a black color, color in the eyes, and then like put a line where the mouth is just so you know, just so you know where that where that stuff is, because it's it's kind of hard to tell when you export it straight to a Google Draw thing. So if I do that, and then I <laughs> then I do the export again. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Now, now we have a we have a template where we know where the eyes and the mouth are. So it's 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 much easier to work off like that. And then obviously, once you're done, you go over here, download PNG. You got that right there. Boom, boom, bing, bop. And you go over here, import, and then import, just like that. Easy piece of cake. 
Easy peasy cake. Wait for it to load, wait for it to load, wait for it to load. Come on. There we go, load him. Load him. Look at that, look at that baby face, motherfucker. Okay, now that you got a crazy hairstyle, you're looking you're looking mad nice. But uh you're 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 wanting a nice little you know look you want a nice fit. Like something something like this, maybe, you know? Something something crazy. Something crazy, you know? You know what I'm saying? Look at this guy. He's dripped. He's got that fucking drip. Honestly, it is the exact same thing. You, you, you do this, go to the presets, pick one you like, because honestly, it, it's best to pick a preset and then just edit the texture off of that preset. I'm telling you, way easier. So just pick what you want. You can go to tops, you can go to dresses if you want. It, it doesn't matter. You do, do whatever. Do whatever. Go to edit texture once again. Do the same thing. Export the file. Pop it into Google Draw. Get the dimensions right. And then boom. Start customizing it, download it, bing bop boom, put it back on here, and look at that, you got a custom fit, you're looking dripped, you're looking mad dripped, okay? And that's about it, my friends, that's a, that's about it, you got yourself a VTuber character, and now you're ready to conquer the VTuber world, man. It's a crazy world out there, you need a crazy character, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you guys learned something, hope you guys got a crazy VTuber character now, love it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.